Telegin's theorem is one of the most powerful theorems in network theory. Most of the energy distribution theorems and extreme in principles in network theory can be derived from it. It was published in 1952 by Bernard Telegin. Fundamentally, Telegin's theorem gives a simple relation between magnitudes that satisfy Kirchhoff's laws of electrical circuit theory. The Telegin theorem is applicable to a multitude of network systems. The basic assumptions for the systems are the conservation of flow of extensive quantities and the uniqueness of the potentials at the network nodes. The Telegin theorem provides a useful tool to analyze complex network systems including electrical circuits, biological and metabolic networks, pipeline transport networks, and chemical process networks. The theorem Consider an arbitrary lumped network whose graph has branches and nodes. In an electrical network, the branches are two terminal components and the nodes are points of interconnection. Suppose that to each branch of the graph we assign arbitrarily a branch potential difference and a branch current for, and suppose that they are measured with respect to arbitrarily picked associated reference directions. If the branch potential differences satisfy all the constraints imposed by KVL and if the branch currents satisfy all the constraints imposed by KCL, then Telegin's theorem is extremely general, it is valid for any lumped network that contains any elements, linear or non-linear, passive or active, time-varying or time-invariant. The generality is extended when and a linear operations on the set of potential differences and on the set of branch currents since linear operations don't affect KVL and KCL. For instance, the linear operation may be the average or the Laplace transform. Another extension is when the set of potential differences is from one network and the set of currents is from an entirely different network. So long as the two networks have the same topology, Telegin's theorem remains true. This extension of Telegin's theorem leads to many theorems relating to two port networks. Definitions we need to introduce a few necessary network definitions to provide a compact proof. Incidence matrix. The matrix is called node to branch incidence matrix for the matrix elements being a reference or datum and node is introduced to represent the environment and connected to all dynamic nodes and terminals. The matrix, where the row that contains the elements of the reference node is eliminated, is called reduced incidence matrix. The conservation laws in vector matrix form. The uniqueness condition for the potentials in vector matrix form. Where are the absolute potentials at the nodes to the reference node? Proof. Using KVL. Because by KCL. So. Applications. Network analogs have been constructed for a wide variety of physical systems, and have proven extremely useful in analyzing their dynamic behavior. The classical application area for network theory and Telegin's theorem is electrical circuit theory. It is mainly in use to design filters in signal processing applications. A more recent application of Telegin's theorem is in the area of chemical and biological processes. The assumptions for electrical circuits are generalized for dynamic systems obeying the laws of irreversible thermodynamics. Topology and structure of reaction networks can be analyzed using the Telegin theorem. Another application of Telegin's theorem is to determine stability and optimality of complex process systems such as chemical plants or oil. Production systems. The Telegin theorem can be formulated for process systems using process nodes, terminals, flow connections and allowing sinks and sources for production or destruction of extensive quantities. A formulation for Telegin's theorem of process systems. Where are the production terms, are the terminal connections, and are the dynamic storage terms for the extensive variables?